Hi guys, I thought I would um, share with you, this may be titled a fail video, I don't know, but um, I have a friend that I work with um, that has just moved to the United States. I think she's been here like three years. She moved here from China and she's married to someone from here and um, from this country and she is learning to cook American food and um, I've been teaching her how to just cook simple things, meatloaf, you know, those kind of things. And um, she is teaching me <laughs> how to make Chinese food. Um, so she goes up to Columbus. It's a big city close to us and um, gets all these different kinds of spices. And she got me this sauce to try. It's a spicy sauce. It seems like it's kind of thick. Um, and she's described to me how to make this. So I've cut up peppers. I've got red, orange, and yellow peppers, onions, I've got rice, and I've got chicken. Um, I'd like to put more vegetables in this, but not everyone in the family likes mushrooms and that kind of thing. And then I've also got some brown rice, and she said one of the main things I need to get is a rice cooker, so I, I've purchased a rice cooker. Here is my rice cooker, and I've successfully cooked some rice in it. Um, so I know that we can do that. So I just thought I would film this and we'll see how everyone likes it and, um, you know, what they think it tastes like. And she said that if I liked the sauce packet, then she would get me a big bottle of it to cook with. Okay, first thing I'm doing is I am added some oil and heating it up in my pan. And then um, I'm going to cook my peppers first because they take longer than the onions. And then I'm going to add the onions in cook those and set those aside um, and then start cooking the chicken. Okay, here it says it. And I get all this stuff done ahead of time so then it's, you know, it's kind of like food prep so then you, when you're ready, you can just go. Okay, yeah, that's quite a bit of peppers but they really cook down. Um, you know, and if you have trouble, stomach trouble, like a lot of people have um, trouble digesting vegetables, just cook these really, really well. It really helps with indigestion. That's the little Tanya nurse tip of the day. Okay, so we're gonna cook these for a while. All right, I've added a lid. Let me try and speed up the process a little bit here. Okay, now I'm setting up my rice cooker. I'm following the directions. So I'm gonna need one cup I don't know, it's confusing. One cup of uncooked rice and use two cups of water and then turn it on and it'll cook. I'm using brown rice so I'm following the chart here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick recap here. So here's my rice cooker. I've got two cups of brown rice in here and then three and one fourth cup of water. I'm just getting this ready and about an hour before ready to eat, I'm gonna pour the water in here and then you just click the start button and then it just beeps when it's done. It makes really good rice. It's so much easier than cooking it on top of the stove. I think I got this for like six dollars or something I don't know the bottom of it gets a little bit burnt but you just don't eat that part I don't know it's it's so easy okay so here's my peppers I decided to cook them by themselves and then the onions so here's the peppers they're done and here's the onions cook on those separate I also made some homemade guacamole which it looks really weird because I have the center like the little ball things that are in the avocado in with the dip um, I made this yesterday to have for today, and everyone's eaten it, so there's a little bit left. Um, and the reason I put those in there, it's supposed to keep it from turning black. It seems to work. Um, and also, I put lime juice over it. We had a slight pepper fail here. I have a ton of pepper in here. I thought this was on sprinkle, but it's not. It's on dump. And put way too much pepper in here, luckily. Um, half of it flew out of the pan and not into here, and I didn't um, pepper the um, pepper the peppers, so maybe the pepper will balance out. Okay, the onions are done. Now we're going to cook the chicken. Okay, I've cut the um, chicken breast up into little tiny pieces and just put salt and pepper. I'm afraid to put too much seasoning on it because I'm using this spicy sauce packet. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I've got my chicken in my pan. I'll be honest with you, I don't normally t cook chicken in a pan like this. We don't eat a ton of meat. 
Um, so sorry if you don't like meat, sorry about this video. Um, but normally we cook all of our meat on the grill if we make meat. Um, so I set my timer for 15 minutes because it's also going to cook in a sauce and it's pretty little, so. Okay, it looks like it's cooking pretty well. When I think it's pretty much cooked, I'm going to try and cut it into smaller pieces. Okay, here we go. We're going to add the sauce. And then I'm supposed to add water. Whoops, I dropped it in it. Add water to it, too. Oh, it's coming out like jelly. All right, I'll have to set the camera down. Okay, so I added the sauce and then added some water. It smells kind of spicy. I hope people like this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think I'm going to put the lid on it and cook, let it cook a little bit. If what I added to that doesn't offer enough, you know, like sauce, I've used this in the past. That's really good. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Decided to add some garlic. Add some garlic. Okay, I just added the vegetables to this, and this looks really wet. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to cook it, turn up the heat and cook it a little bit. And then... Um, then try it and then maybe add some of this other sauce. I don't know. Maybe it's going to taste good. It just looks really bland to me. I guess I'm used to like going down to the local Chinese restaurant and getting some general chows, which this, <laughs> this isn't. Um, but maybe it's got a good flavor to it once it cooks a little while. The heat's picking up there. Okay, here it is cooking down. Looks like maybe it's going to taste good, like it's seasoned well. I don't know. I'm going to taste it in a little bit. Okay, I have some on a plate. As soon as it cools, I'm going to taste it and see if it's any good. It smells good. All right, let's see what it tastes like. You see it here? I'm going to get creative. It's really good. Oh, it's got some spice to it. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's really spicy. Ooh, but it's really good. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Boy, oh boy, the toddler's not going to be able to eat this. Oh, this stuff is spicy, but it's good. Okay, well, it was a success. It's definitely spicy. Oh my gosh, I probably could have used half a packet. It just didn't smell like it was going to be very spicy. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to make the rice and we'll see what everyone else thinks of it when they get home from work and school. Okay. Now I'm going to add the water to my rice. Put the lid on it. And we're going... Oh, I got to plug it in. Yeah, it might help if I plug it in. Okay, well, I don't think I just recorded it. I'm not sure. I hit the cook button. <laughs> um, and then it'll switch over to warm when it's done. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, the rice is done. It switched to warm. So here you can see it. It is done. Ouch. I've got this thing upside down. Here we go. Yum. Decided to throw some rolls in the oven since it's so spicy. Joe wants to put hers in a wrap, so I'm heating up these soft tortilla um, shells. All right, Jill, try it. See what you think. It's kind of bland. Kind of bland. Take another bite. It about burnt the crap out of my mouth. Maybe it's just a wrap. Oh. Do you like it? Yes, go. Cool. All right, guys. Here it is on my plate, and it's delicious. And Jillian really liked it um, in the wraps. Okay, well, um, hopefully I'll be able to find out the name of, of the sauce. 
um, so I can put a, you know, a description of it in the description box if you guys want to try this. It's turned out really good. Oh, and as always, thanks for watching.